it's vlogmas day four and we're going to be in the kitchen again as per usual um we are going to be making some pies today so i'm really really excited um let me know today's comment let me know down in the comments if you guys have watched vlogmas one two and three i would really appreciate if it i would really appreciate if you guys would go watch those um let me know if you guys have or not that's fine too um don't forget to also subscribe and don't forget to drop a like on any of my videos that really helps me out believe it or not so yeah i have all of my things um ready to go so i have my bowls we're actually going to be making two pies today um so i have my bowls i have my discard bowl i have my whisk i have my spatula um my apron of course and then we're going to go ahead and hold on y'all so this is what i have over here so i have the molina for so we're making pecan and we're making pumpkin pie today so we have the molina which is the um vanilla we have light corn syrup we have some pecans we have the ready pie crust because y'all i've tried making pie crust so many times and i don't want any fails so this is foolproof right here so that's what we're using we're using three farm eggs um, from our chickens from our hens so shout out to them they do so good um, and then I'm going to also make a pumpkin pie or a pumpkin pie so I have some solid packed pumpkin um, we also have some sweetened condensed milk we have some ground cinnamon we have some ginger we have some ground nutmeg if it would just focus there we go um, some more pie crush just in case I want to do a two um, two crust pie so one on the bottom one on the top but we'll see um, obviously I have the pecans. These are chopped up pieces just because whenever you mix it anyways, the pecans are going to actually break. So there's no need. And then obviously we have some sugar, a whole 10 pound right here. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and flip y'all back up this way. Y'all, I really love my new camera. I love how I can like vlog and like do everything. And as per usual, y'all are actually popped up on the Nespresso again. So let me go ahead and wash my hands and I will be right back. My hands are washed and they are all clean. If you're wondering what's on my neck, it's a scratch from my Rottweiler. I was trying to cut her nails today. She wasn't happy with it, but it's fine. She didn't mean to, so it's a-okay. Um, she hates getting her nails clipped. Let me know also down below if your dogs like getting their nails clipped or not. Mine only my rottweiler doesn't like getting her nails clipped everybody else is, is like pretty chill and also i have my um hair clip as well so we're just going to go ahead and pin our hair back let me go ahead and wash my hands again just for precaution okay so hands are washed again so everything is clean um like i said i've made pie crust before um sometimes it fails sometimes it does well i don't want anything messing up so we have foolproof pie crust store-bought pie crust and it works every time so that's what we're doing we're going to go ahead and pre-bake the pie crust according to the direction so we'll go ahead and do that so i have my pie like little pan right here it's so cute it's by pyrex this is a nine inch this is not a 10 inch um there are different sizes especially whenever you're doing pie so make sure that you guys are using the right pie crust like equivalent this is a nine inch so use a nine inch um also if you're using a double crust pie make sure you get a two pack instead of a one because you can't split that two um into two so that's what we're using and then we are going to go ahead and unroll this and press it into the um pie pan and we're going to bake it at 450 for 10 to 12 minutes um let me go ahead i think i'm going to crimp the edges I, i'm not going to go crazy with it i'm just going to go crimp it really quick so let me go ahead and get our pie pan and it's ready let me make sure on the other box though hold on yes 450 and then i need to prick the bottoms and the sides with a fork and bake for 10 to 12 minutes let me know down in, um let me know not down in the comments if you guys want to comment something or anything go ahead be free to comment anything but um how is your holiday going so far ours is going splendid um if you guys hear like sounds in the background i'm at, i actually have big bang theory on right now um and yeah i'm in the jits of just cooking and baking for y'all so <laughs> let me go ahead and get a fork really quick Okay, so I have a fork right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put y'all down somewhere on our counter. I don't know where, but we're going to go ahead and fix it really quick. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put my apron on so we're not making a mess. 
I love this apron, y'all. It's it's screaming like Christmas vibes, if you will. And our oven is already preheated. Let me not tie my hair. Oh my gosh. Ah. Let me not tie my hair. It's so cold here in Texas. Um, I think the lowest it's gonna get is like maybe like higher 30s, if what if that. But this morning was like 38 this morning, so. That is insane, but we're let me go ahead and prop you guys down somewhere. Maybe you guys can go on the corn. I don't know where the heck y'all are going to go. All I know is you're going to go somewhere, like here maybe. I think that would be just right. And then also, I have the recipe on my phone, so we are not going <laughs> in this blindly. The recipe is right here on my phone, so that's what we're using. Let me go ahead and open the pie crust, and we are going to pre-bake this, and then before we put the fill filling, we're going to actually let this cool because we don't want any like like anything going wrong. Let me go ahead and remove this really quick so we have some room. And I am going to be mixing this by hand because whenever you're making a pie filling, you don't want it airy and light. It's not a cake, it's a pie. Like I want all the fat, I want all the density, I want everything. So we are going to go ahead and do that. So this is one pie crust, and um, I had this in the fridge, but it says if it's refrigerated, you want to leave it out um, to room temperature. So we're going to go ahead and unroll her. Hopefully she does not break, because oh my word, that'd be so bad if she, if she broke. Let me go ahead and get um, a rolling pin really quick. Okay, so we have this rolling pin. It's been in our family for like, I don't even know how long, but it's really, really good. And yes, the counters are clean. I always make sure the counters are clean before um, I start baking. So we're going to go ahead and roll her out just a little bit, like so. I am so sorry. The camera strap was in the way. I am so sorry, y'all. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and take her and put her over the pie pan, like so, like this. And you just want to make sure it touches every side possible. Like, you want to make sure you really, really, like, really press it in there. And also, um, if you guys are any bakers, any girlies out there, or any guys out there who are bakers, um, let me know if you use pie weights or not. Pie weights, you actually put, like, um, parchment paper on top of, like, inside of the pie crust and then you put the weights on top so it like refrains it from like you know bubbling and airing out and whatnot I'm going to go ahead and crimp the crust like so okay. guys we still have Christmas presents arriving um, we usually buy the Christmas presents early um, due to like um, it being super busy during the holidays and you don't want any packages getting lost within that time. So definitely try to buy your Christmas presents early and stay tuned for Vlogmas uh, Day 5 because that one might be helpful to any of you guys who are like wondering what to get like, like your significant other or like your friends and family. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Okay. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and take off the excess, like so. Press all of it in there. Okay, and now we're just going, that is what the crust looks like. Look how cute. So we're going to go ahead and prick it like this. We're going to prick it on the sides too, so all the air gets let out. You definitely don't want your pie crust bubbling up because then that's like a setup for disaster. We're going to go ahead and do like this. And I'm just using a fork. Okay, now there she is, all pretty. And we're going to go ahead and pop her into the oven. All right, y'all, so I have our first pie crust. And we are going to go ahead and put her into the oven. That's what she looks like. 
Um, all the edges are crimped and pretty, so let's go ahead and put that into the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and put her into the oven right here. We're going to only put her in the oven for 10 minutes. We'll do 11 just to make sure. Let's go ahead and flip the timer. So um, we'll do 11. It's nice and hot. And now we're going to go ahead and get started on our filling. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and get started on our filling, but hold on, let me clean off the counter first and then we'll start. All right, y'all, so I am back. Um, the pie crust is actually going. Um, it dawned on me that I needed to throw in the second pie crust, but it's okay, we'll make do, it's fine. It was an idiot sandwich moment. I'm fine, we're fine, we're all okay. It's fine. Um, I will just do it whenever the time comes but it is okay so we're going to go ahead and work on our pecan um pie filling so let me go ahead and put y'all down so y'all can see what i am doing maybe y'all can stand on like some soup or something would that be fine right that would be fine do i need to zoom in a little bit like that much okay y'all so it calls for one okay so it calls for one cup of light corn syrup so let me go ahead and move everything over here. Cons, this, and this. Okay, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and do one cup of light corn syrup. Is this open? Did I open it yet? No, I did not. Go ahead and open that. And this pie, y'all, is very, very simple because it's just a dump like mix and dump pie that's all you have to do but well i'll get my thumbnail in a little bit but um yeah we're using this corn syrup right now so it says one cup corn syrup is super super thick y'all super thick and whenever y'all are baking for the holidays let me know do you guys like add your own flair to some of the recipes or whatnot Okay, that's a cup, so we're going to go ahead and add that cup, like so. Make sure you use a spatula to get like everything out. Okay. It's so sticky. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so sticky. I cannot. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and put that over there. Next, we are going to need three eggs, and these are from my Tanola chicken. Literally, that's her name, Tanola. Um, she lays large brown eggs, and she does such a good job. Look how beautiful this egg is. She does such a good job, so we're going to go ahead and crack those. Or wash I wash my hands every time I crack eggs because yeah you don't want any type of salmonella or anything um, next you want one cup of granulated sugar so I have a half cup right here and we're just going to scoop two of these because that equals a whole so I'm gonna go ahead and get the discard bowl out of the way so it says one cup That's one cup right there. And then it says that we need a half teaspoon of salt. So go get the teaspoon. This is a teaspoon, so we're going to use half of that. Okay. And then we are going to use two tablespoons of butter melted. So I will. Alright y'all, so I am back with the butter. That is two tablespoons of butter right here. We're going to go ahead and put it in there. I know it calls for melted, but it's going to be mixed in anyway, so there's really no point. Okay. 
And then next, it calls for one teaspoon of vanilla. So we're going to go ahead and put some vanilla. And a little extra for extra health. And then it says six ounces of pecans. So this is already chopped for us. So we're just going to go ahead and throw it in there. Oh crap, let me get. So that is what the pecans look like, like so. And if y'all say pecans, y'all are different. It's pecans. Here in Texas, we say pecans. So it's pecans. We're going to go ahead and mix it in here like so. And then we're just going to mix everything together. Um, let me just show y'all what we are working with right now. It looks so delicious. Look at all that goodness. Well, let me see if I can mix it with one hand. Oh. It's working, but as per usual, I need both hands. So let me go ahead and mix it for y'all. Let me go ahead and put y'all up again. Like right here, maybe. Hold on. Let me make sure y'all are not going to fall anywhere because that would be bad news bears. Okay, that seems better. Let me go ahead and mix it. This smells so good. Y'all, this smells delicious. Like actually delicious. Make sure you get to the bottom. I want to add a little more vanilla because why not? Just a dash. Oop. Yeah, a dash. Let me show y'all the batter, what we're looking like right now. That is what we're looking like. Look how pretty everything looks. You can always use dark corn syrup as well, but we got light, so it will work just fine. But look how pretty. Now, that is the mixture for pie number one. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, crap. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, put this to the side and then we're going to let that pie, um, the pie shell cool and then we will go ahead and pour the filling and then cook it again. All right y'all, so um, the pie crust is literally 24 seconds from being done. Well, one of them I know I should have thrown both in there but it's, it's, it's okay. We're going to go ahead and take her out. She looks beautiful. And then we're going to get working on the pumpkin pie filling and also crust. So I'm not going to clear um, the oven just yet. We are going to go ahead and throw also in the other pie crust, which I should have done before. So it is done. So I just cleared off the timer. We're going to go ahead and get it out. Ooh, she's hot. Let me go ahead and grab her. Ooh, it's hot. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and flip screen. That is what she looks like. A pie crust is a pie crust. It's gonna work. It looks good to me, so. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and let this cool and then work on our second one. All right, y'all, so I am working on the second pie crust, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to pop it in for four, we're going to pop it in at 450 for 10 to 12 minutes. Y'all are kind of lopsided right now, but it is fine. Let me go ahead and fix that for y'all. Hold on. Let me, let me see something really quick. Will that work? Is that working better for y'all? Or maybe not. There we go. I think that's way better, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. 
Okay, you guys might have to just stay here. I mean, they don't call it Vlogmas without vlogging different angles and whatnot. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Go ahead and get the crust out. There it goes. And then we're going to go ahead and move everything out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and roll the crust out a little more so it can go over the sides. And this is the H-E-B brand. I know you can buy like frozen pie crust and whatnot, but I like the satisfaction of rolling out the pie crust. So. Like so. And then we're going to go ahead and grab it on up. And then we're going to go ahead and start crimping it. Make sure you press your pie crust all the way to the bottom. Wait, hold on. Let me move it a little bit so it's all evened out. Okay, yeah, make sure you press your pie crust all the way to the bottom because, like I said, you don't want nothing lifting. And it's always recommended that you use a glass um, pie pan. Um, if you use metal, it's going to literally be like, it's going to be bad. <laughs> It could burn and brown way too easily, so I go ahead and start crimping. Like so. Crimp, crimp, crimp. Okay, make sure everything is pressed all the way on the inside and that is our pie crust. Now we're going to go ahead and poke and prod it. Um, like I said, you don't want any air bubbles lifting and you don't want any of the pie crust lifting as well. So make sure the whole entire bottom is like completely like poked and pushed and all types of um a, yeah just make sure everything is good to go um y'all in our town well it's like maybe 30 minutes away we always have this every year it's like a light show like a light festival and it's for christmas oh i can't wait to go i'm so 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 excited do you guys have like any types of events in your hometown that happens around Christmas? Do you all have like a Christmas parade or do you guys have any light shows for Christmas? I would love to know. They've been doing it for almost, I think 50 years or something like that. So, okay. Okay, that is what it looks like up close and personal. You guys can see all the little holes. We're going to go ahead and throw her in for We'll do 11 minutes again. Okay. Okay, let's wash our hands. Okay. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Throw any trash away that we do not need. Okay. Go ahead and move this over here. And then let me go ahead and clear off um, my work area and then I will be right back. All right y'all, so I have the second pie crust going. Let me show y'all the first pie crust. She's still hot. I can't touch her yet. So we're going to let her cool for a little longer. Um, I actually have the puck and pie recipe right there. I don't know. Here. I, yeah. There we go. I have the pumpkin pie recipe right here in my hands. Um, so you're going to need. Let me go ahead and make sure I have everything over here. Dang flabbit. Hold on. So you're going to need one can of sweetened condensed milk. This stuff is... We love this stuff, it's so good. And then you're going to need two large eggs. Like I said, these are from my chicken, so they're farm fresh. 
so yeah my chickens do good so you're going to need two eggs next you're going to need one teaspoon of cinnamon we have cinnamon on deck right here you can ground your own it's a little time consuming to ground your own or you just pop it in a blender or um, what's it called a food processor it'll be ground as well if you get the cinnamon sticks that will work too but we just use this for convenience um, next you're going to need some ginger so we have this little baby ginger um, that we <laughs> it's so cute it's from HEB it's like a, in a little glass bottle like literally look at the size of it it's so tiny um, and then you're going to need some nutmeg so we have nutmeg from HEB as well and then we also have some pumpkin you're going to need one 15 ounce so this is 15 ounces so this is exactly what you're going to need um we bought basically everything from HEB because curbside is so easy and so convenient and then you're going to need some salt as well um we use sea salt just because it tastes better in all our food and i am going to add a splash of vanilla i know the recipe doesn't call for it but i really don't care i'm going to add a splash of it so yeah that's what we're going to be doing oh crap let me go ahead and put my hair back y'all if all my girlies out there do y'all have a problem with like your hair being too long i do too but i don't want to cut it i never want to cut it again super short so i'm going to have to deal with like a clip for the rest of my life let's go ahead and whip up this mixture so let me go ahead and set you all again over here. And the reason why we're not using sugar is because we're actually using the sweetness from the condensed milk. So that is probably why, if you guys are like wondering. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and set y'all down here. Y'all are like snug <laughs> between everything. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Go ahead and mix this. Okay, so let me go ahead, let me get our bowl. Okay, y'all, so we are going to need a can opener, of course. We have this can opener, it's like ergonomical, it's better for your hands. So we're going to go ahead and crack her open. You're going to need one count, one 15 ounce can. Wait, should I put y'all up here again? I think that was better, right? Did y'all like it up here better? So you guys can see everything, right? And then I'll just move like back this way. So we're going to need one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. And always use a spatula so you can get like everything out. Okay. And I am that type of person to get every little bit. So I am actually going to scoop this off. So we're going to go ahead and put it there. One whole can of pumpkin. Y'all, there's a lot in here. Get everything out. We got everything out, so we're going to go ahead and put it in our discard little bin right here. Next, we're going to need is one whole can of uh, sweetened condensed milk. This is 14 ounces. This is exactly what you need. Y'all, I am in my cozy era, my cozy vibes. Around Christmas time, I don't know, I just love Christmas time. Like, not even just Christmas by itself, but like the whole entire month of December. I just love the holidays. I, it's my favorite holiday, so... I get super giddy and super excited about the whole entire month. Okay, so there's some on the lid. Y'all already know I'm scraping that hoe off. Okay, we're going to scrape as much as we can. Next, we're going to go ahead and pour the whole entire condensed milk into here. Make sure you get every little tidbit. Like so. And there's still some at the bottom. Do not, don't leave it. Guys, do not leave it. Just because you're lazy, don't leave it. I promise you, you're going to need it. Don't ever leave it. <laughs> also, let's talk about the Big Bang Theory. I love, if you guys watch the Big Bang Theory, I love Leonard. I love Sheldon. I love Amy Farrah Fowler. Um, I do not like Bernadette. She's like so tiny and so she looks nice, but I swear she's, 
I swear she's like two-faced. I swear she is. She's so rude behind everybody's back. I don't like her. I can't stand fake people. I cannot. Um, next, we need two large eggs. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Farm fresh eggs from my chicken. So let's go ahead and crack these in. All right, so the second crust is done. Let me go ahead and clear that off. Um, we're going to keep it preheated to 450 because I need to look at all the other times um, to cook the actual pies. So let me go ahead and get this baby out. She looks tremendous. So let me go ahead and let y'all see what she looks like. That is what she looks like right there. I know it's not the best camera angle. <laughs> let me go ahead, there we go. So that is what she looks like and let's let her cool. All right, so we are going to go ahead and continue with our pumpkin pie recipe. So we are going to go ahead and do the spices now. So we need one teaspoon of cinnamon. So let's go ahead and grab that. And whenever you're dealing with like nutmeg, cardamom, um, ginger, and any type of like allspice, like five spice, make sure you're like measuring it to the tea because spice could be like really, really spicy and you don't want to like overdo it. So it says one teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So one teaspoon of cinnamon, there we go. Woo. And then it says half teaspoon of ground ginger. So we're going to go ahead and do half teaspoon. Woo. It's not a Jasmine vlog without me dropping something. So we're going to do half, can I? Yeah, I'm a sandwich. I am a full tried and true sandwich. We're going to do half teaspoon of ginger, ginger, ginger. I think that right there is like quite enough to be quite fair. So we're going to go ahead and drop her in. And then we're going to need half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Let me go ahead and put the lid on. This is nutmeg, rot her. Oh crap. And then we're going to go ahead and get her out. It smells so good. So we're going to go ahead and pop her in there. And then it says it calls for a half teaspoon of salt. So we're going to go ahead and put some salt as well. Okay. And then we are going to go ahead and add a full on teaspoon and a half of vanilla because I feel like with baking, you need vanilla. Like you actually need vanilla. Y'all, I cannot bake without vanilla. You need, I put in everything literally everything so this is a teaspoon so we're going to go ahead and put a teaspoon and a half that's one i'll heck i'll just do two it's fine i'll just do two okay and i am also hand whisking this as well because i feel like the mixer oh hello yeah you can you just can't come over here you want to say you want to say hi to the vlog Hi guys. My, bro my brother said hi to the vlog. Um, yeah, I feel like you need to put vanilla in everything. You just can't. <laughs> you need to put vanilla in every baked good that you do. It's just a need. And like I was saying, I also feel like hand whisking is a lot, it's like funner. So, thank you. We're going to go ahead and mix everything like so. No. I didn't want it to be like a fail crust, so I went ahead and just did that, the store bought one. Go ahead and mix everything. If y'all could smell through the camera right now, it smells so good. I can't bring it over there. Okay, here. Just whip it. Smell good? Yeah, no, I'm making both first. I'm just waiting for the pie, to, pie crust to, um, what's it called, cool down. Because I can't put the filling in there yet. And make sure you mix everything, y'all, because you don't want, like, a clump of spice to be in someone's mouth. That would be so bad. Make sure you get all the bottom, all the sides, like so. And this is what it looks like. It looks so good. So, so good. 
me go ahead and get y'all a close look. That is what it looks like. It looks so delicious. So we're going to go ahead and look at the times that we need to cook these at. I know for the pecan pie, you need to cook it for an hour. Um, the pumpkin pie, I need to check. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, y'all. So I just um, looked at what the recipe calls for. So we're going to have to throw the pumpkin one in first just because it has to... Um, Pre-bake for 15 minutes at 425 and they're going to like lower the heat to 350 and then bake it for 40 minutes and then that's when we could throw in the pecan pie for an hour so it's like all at 350 so let's go ahead and do that. Let me give it one more whisk. So let me go ahead and drop the temp to 425. So it is at 425 right now. Okay. Let me go ahead and pour everything into the crust. This is what the crust looks like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour everything into the crust. And always use a spatula, y'all. Always use a spatula so you can get all the good bits out. Okay. Make sure you get all of everything out, every single little bit, literally every single little bit. Honestly, I love vlogging for you guys. I feel like I could talk to you guys and I could be there for you guys too if you guys need me to as well. So I don't know, like I have a, I don't know. I just, I love YouTube. So <laughs> I love doing these types of videos for you guys. Let me go ahead and scoop everything out and do a little like that. And we are going to go ahead and pop her in there 425 for 15 minutes and then drop the heat to 350 and then bake this one for 40 minutes. So I'm going to set a separate timer and then we're going to bake the pecan one for an hour. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and see if I could carry it with one hand. Okay, look at how beautiful she looks. Look at that. Okay, oh. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and pop her in there. Pre-baked for 15 minutes at 425 in the middle of the rack. So we're going to go ahead and lift this up, put this for 15 minutes, let her go, and then we'll pop in both pies for whatever timers they need. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the pecan filling into the pie shell because we're like two minutes on the dot. So let me go ahead and get the pie crust. Yep, two minutes on the dot. Let me go ahead and pour all the pie filling, as you guys can see. Make sure you get a spatula as well. Do not leave any of that goodness out. Okay, make sure you get every little bit. Y'all, my favorite pie is literally pecan pie. I love pecan pie. Okay, she looks so pretty. Go ahead and show you guys, oh shoot, what she looks like. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and move that one over. So, I already have my timer um, set for everything. Let me go ahead and drop down this to 350. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that timer. We're going to go ahead and move the pie crust. Well, not the pie crust, but we're going to go ahead and move this pie over. Okay, move her over like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put the pecan pie in. Okay. And then, L'Oreal, so I'm going to go ahead and pop these bad boys in like so and we're going to go ahead and set the timer for 38 minutes so the 38 on here is going to be for the pumpkin and then i'm going to go ahead and set one hour if you guys if y'all can see that for the pecan there we go and i will see you whenever it's done
All right, y'all, so we are two minutes out from the pum pumpkin pie being done. The pecan one still has, let's see here. The pecan pie still has 23 more minutes, so we're going to actually take out the pumpkin pie literally like in a minute, so I was right on time. So we're going to take it out, and yeah, we're going to let her cool. <gasps> she looks so good! Okay, we're going to go ahead and move the pecan pie to the middle. So she is still baking at 350. Y'all, she looks so good. I can't. Hold on. Let me flip screen. Y'all, look at that. Hold on. Let me move her a little bit. Wow. Let me not burn my hand. There we go. Look at her. Hold on, let me like zoom in. Wow. Y'all, she looks good. Look how nice and voluptuous she looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, so obviously we still have some time on the pecan pie. We still have 20 minutes and 50 seconds, so I will see y'all when that comes out. Hey y'all, so the timer is about to go off. We have literally 17, 16 seconds left, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the pecan pie out. It looks amazing. So let me go ahead and set y'all right there. Okay, the timer is done, so that means we are good to go. Oh my gosh, y'all, this looks insane. Oh, that's hot. Ooh. Let me go ahead and turn off the oven. Take the foil off. Y'all, this pie looks amazing. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me go ahead and give y'all um, some footage of what the pies look like. That's the pecan pie. Doesn't she, doesn't she look so amazing? Like that. And then that is the pumpkin pie. All right, y'all. So I have made both pies and my family's super excited to eat these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all some aerial view of what the pies look like. So that is the pumpkin. That is a pumpkin one. And then that is the pecan pie. Everything looks so delicious. I cannot wait to eat these pies especially the pecan pie like i said if y'all say pecan y'all are wrong out of line it's pecan but yeah i hope everybody enjoyed this vlogmas day four if you did don't forget to drop a like on this video and if you guys want to subscribe um it wouldn't hurt it would actually help me out a lot um i am burning up in the kitchen it is so hot but i will see y'all back for vlogmas day five and bye guys